if I have to add up a set of values based on a single condition, then sum a function is the one to use. So over here, we have a data sheet with a list of sale transactions. So I have the dates here, the individual dates are given, and then I have the revenue values as well, correct? So I can also notice that for certain dates, I have multiple transactions listed. So on the right hand side, I have a summarized data sheet here where I have the individual dates and I want to calculate the revenue. Okay, so let's go ahead and type in the formula here. So as I mentioned, since it's a single condition for which we want to add up the values, I will use the sum if function. Okay, cool. So now I, it is basically asking me for the range. I mean, we have a criteria that we want to satisfy. That means we should pick up revenues which match this particular date, for example, 1st of Jan 2020. So where does the date column lie, right? So we know where the date column is. We just need to specify it into our formula, right? So we'll say, we'll select our table here. So the table name that we are used here is table 13. So you can always go and change the table name to something more meaningful and specific for your data. So the moment I gave the correct table name, you can see that the uh, data sheet has got selected and the column that we are referring to within that is date. So, so there we go. And then what is the criteria? The date that we have specified here, 1st of Jan, cool. So we have specified the column where we need to check the individual date, right? And then we have to specify the sum range. So sum range is the last parameter that we have to specify. So that again, we will just mention the table number, which is 13, and we will mention the column that is revenue. So it becomes very easy to type the formulas as well when you use tables, right? So I'll just close the square bracket there and then execute the function. It works perfectly. So if I drag it down, I get the corresponding value. So let's have a look at 2nd of Jan. So I can see that 2nd of Jan has multiple uh, transactions. If I look at the values, I can see that the total is 257 here at the bottom and the value stands correct. So this is how I can use the sum of function to uh, actually uh, extract uh, the sum of values based on a single condition.